family. My name is Davina, and on behalf of our pastors, Andrew and Miley Toina, we want to greet you in the name of Jesus, and we want to wish you all a happy new year. Welcome to our very first service of 2021. Here at the Hotspot, our vision is connected to God's word to see people live their best life. If you can do me a favor real quick, just go grab a piece of paper and also get your planner, um, whatever you have that, you know, you, you save your to-do list and your important dates, grab that, set it aside and have it handy because you're going to need it um, in the next few minutes, all right? Last week, pastors Andrew and Miley spoke on 2021 and they said that this is our year of re, R-E, okay? And that prefix simply means, there's a lot of meanings for it, but one meaning is again. So we want to encourage you to get reconnected with us here at the hotspot. One way you can do that is through a life group. And yep, our life groups are restarting this month. Um, we have our women's life group hosted by Pastor Miley happening on Tuesdays at 6.30 p.m. via Zoom. This life group is kicking off on Tuesday, January 12th. And if you would like to get connected with this life group or if you would like more information, simply drop the word women in the chat below and we will get that info to you. Our men's life group will be also kicking off this month, hosted by Pastor Andrew himself. This life group happens on Wednesdays at 6.30 p.m. via Zoom, and they are kicking off on Wednesday, January 13th. If you're interested in getting connected with our men's life group, simply drop the word men in the chat below, and we will get that information to you. We also have our life, our Create Life group, formerly known as our Bujo Life group, hosted by myself, Davina. We are kicking off on Monday, January 18th, and this life group meets every first and third Monday at 6.30 p.m. via Zoom. If you're interested or would like more information in this life group, um, simply drop the word create in the chat below and we will get that information to you as well. Lastly, we have our Adults Life Group, also known as the Tacoma Life Group, hosted by Tolo and Hana. They are kicking off on Friday, January 22nd, and this life group happens every Friday at 6.30 p.m. via Zoom. So again, if you would like more information on this life group, simply drop the word Tacoma in the chat below, and we will get that information to you. If you want um, more information regarding any of our life groups or if you weren't able to write down all the dates in your planner you can simply visit us on our website at thehotspot.church and guess what we even have a calendar for you there so you can just fill out your planner right now if you want and make sure you get connected with a life group this year amen amen now another meaning for the prefix re is a new and you know when you rededicate your life to christ you are made new and this is exactly what pastor miley wrote about in her latest blog on askmy.com the first blog of this year man it was new year's day and pastor miley did not skip a beat amen her blog was entitled a new thing and i love what she said she says christ still delights and giving us new beginnings. Amen. I encourage you guys to log on to askmy.com every Girlfriend Friday. And you know, if God places in your heart, if there's somebody that you think of, man, send them the link, right? Just encourage them, share it on your social media platforms as well. And let's just continue to be a light in this world. Amen. Amen. Now I want you to do me a favor real quick. Um, I want you to grab your phone. Okay. And I want you to open up your text messages. Okay. So grab your phone, open up your text messages. In the recipient box, I want you to type this number. You ready? Nine, seven, zero, zero, zero. Okay, nine, seven, zero, zero, zero. Now in the message um, spot, I want you to type, this is all one word, hot spot news. Okay, hot spot news, H-O-T-S-P-O-T-N-E-W-S, -E hot spot news, now press send. All right, drop some hearts if you if you did that. Guess what? You are now subscribed to updates to the Hotspot Church. Man, anything that is going on here at the Hotspot Church, it will be sent directly to you through text messages. Amen? Amen. Also, we just want to um, 
say thank you to everyone who participated in our spirit month last month man we know it wasn't the same um as usual but it was still so much fun it's still something that i really look forward to here at the hotspot church and we just want to announce our winner for last week it was joy to the world and here we go Congratulations to Silao Taifane. Give it up, give it up, give it up. Congrats, Silao. Um, your prize is on its way. But again, we just want to thank everyone so much for participating. You guys are amazing. And man, we can't wait. We're looking forward to our next spare month this year because guess what? We know that we are going to be together again. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Now. It's time to bring out that piece of paper, whatever it is that you had on the side, just grab, out, grab your piece of paper, okay? Now, another meaning for the word re is back, and back as in remember. And I just remembered yesterday, one of my favorite things that we used to do in church when it was offering time is that we would name our seeds. We would take our, our offering envelope and we would write our seeds on the back of it. And not only that, we would pray together as a family. Do you remember that Hotspot Church? That was one of my favorite things that we did. And man, I wanna encourage you guys to get back into that if you, if you stop doing it, okay? Um, the reason being is I want you to name your seed and I also want you to place it somewhere where you can see and also access every Sunday because when we have offering I want you to pray over it as a family and these are reasons why why you want to have it somewhere you can see and so you can remember the seeds that you've planted so that you can remember to water your seeds and also when your seeds man when they start to flourish when they start to have life when they start to break ground when it comes to pass that you look at it and you can remember how faithful and awesome God is. So right now, we're just gonna take 30 seconds, gather together as a family, and thank God for bringing us through another year and that we are starting this year off together as one. Name your seeds this next 30 seconds. Pray with your family. Man, just give God praise, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We give you glory. Thank you, Lord. Have your way. Thank you, Jesus. We bless you. We love you, Lord. Yeah. Fill this place today. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Father Lord, as our hotspot family continues to name their seeds and gather together in their individual households, but we come together as one hotspot family to just give you the glory and the honor and the praise. Father Lord, we give you our offering today. We continue to say thank you for being our source through it all. Father Lord, you are so worthy. Lord, and we water our seeds this morning. Lord, whatever it is that we have written on our piece of paper, Lord, we are sowing in faith. We are sowing in expectation. But most importantly, Father, we are sowing in love because you are worthy. We honor you today with our offering. If you believe in that prayer, repeat after me. Say, see, go, and grow. Harvest. I will see you real soon. Time, hurry up and catch up with my harvest. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Like I mentioned before, that word re means back, as in to recall. Man, and if you can recall the goodness of God in your life, man, it makes you wanna shout. It makes you wanna give God praise and all the glory because he is worthy to be praised. So I wanna encourage you to set the tone for your 2021. Set the tone for this year 
man, I know some of us, we didn't end 2020 the way we wanted to, but guess what? We are still here and God is still faithful. Amen. And I declare one of my words for this year is remain. And I'm going to remain in my worship because God remains faithful to us. So today, man, let's enter into his presence and let's rejoice in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Even when I can't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop. You never stop. He never stopped. He never stopped. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop. You never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you work, and I can trust you. Cause you do all things well. You never stop. You work in everything together, my God. Even when I don't see it, you work.
you're not near. Yes. You are here. You are here. Always near. It's not a moment you're not near.
Amen. Amen. Jesus is worthy to be praised. Amen. Worthy is his name. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Well, Happy New Year to us all. Amen. And uh, thank you, Jesus, that we are able to see 2021. Uh, we've made it through a tough, tough 2020, right, everyone? But God. Come on, somebody. But God. And one of the good things about a new year is that we can uh, start off with a clean slate, you know, a blank canvas for, you know, for you and I to use the colors that God gave us. And the colors are love, joy, peace, kindness, patience, forgiveness. And uh, I just want to let you know that today is also uh, our communion Sunday. And so if you, if you can go and grab you something where we can uh, break bread together and remember what Christ has done for us. Amen, everyone. And then also, you know, um, if you've been with us for, for a while now, you know that every first Sunday of every year, uh, we have our anointing, uh, uh, what do you call it? with the oil, with our uh, Sunday service. And I know this year is different. We can't, you know, meet together. And trust me on this, you know, Miley and I have been going through how we can, um, you know, make this happen. Um, uh, so what we're going to do is we're, I'm going to still pray, you know, and, and anoint and ask God to anoint us uh, through, you know, this uh, online and, and uh, internet uh, gadget stuff that we have. And but what we're going to also do is we're going to be um, uh, sending, you know, a portion of this oil to you, you know, and your family so that you can anoint your family and anoint, you know, your your house, anoint your your car, anoint your business and, and so forth. Um, and so if you if you're interested, you know, we can send it to you. Let us know. Um, just uh, type in their home and then we'll get your address and, and so forth. And then we're going to send this to you uh, via email, I mean, not email, <laughs> via, uh, through uh, our mail, in Jesus' name, okay? So so that's what's going to be happening, um, you know, during this, this month, and we're going to be sending out to you, um, and so I'm excited for 2021, you know, just like every other year, you know, we come to the new beginnings of, uh, like, just like 2020, 2019, and so forth, in Jesus' name, amen, so hope you're excited too, all right? Um, also, uh, I want to say to, uh, uh, what do you call it? congratulations to Sarah and her team for winning last night, you know, their first game of 2020, and they got that W. So thank you, Jesus. Amen. And, and uh, job well done, Sarah. Um, uh, you know, she had a double-double and player of the game as well again. And so great job, baby. Um, also want to say to um, thank you uh, to Sunil and the Houston Texans. Um, who has their last game for the season today against the Titans, I believe. And although it's not the season they wanted, you know, just thanking God, everyone, that Sunil made it through another season healthy, you know, still walking and running. Amen, everyone? Uh, so if you are ready, um, you know, I, I just want to pray, and then we can get right into this word. Um, uh, I know today I, I haven't worn a tie for a while, so I just decided to wear a tie today and maybe every first Sunday maybe we're gonna try, I'm gonna try to dress up just to get myself ready again uh, for our for our service amen amen so so let's pray father I just want to say thank you so much again uh, just like what Divina uh, mentioned Lord you are worthy Lord and we thank you father uh, for all that you continue to do in our lives and as we start this year you know our first Sunday of 2021 Lord we ask Lord that you just have your way through our lives and we make ourselves available unto you. And I thank you for giving us the ability. Thank you for blessing us. Thank you for being faithful to us. And Lord, I just ask that you use me today. Speak through me, Lord. Let me hide behind the, your cross and you just speak, Father, that your word will fall on great grounds and it'll produce great fruits. But most of all, Father, I just want to say, um, have your way. We love you in Jesus' name. And everyone say, amen and amen. All right, everyone. Okay. So if you're ready, press that emoji and say, I'm ready, you know, or that heart or that like button in Jesus' name. All right. Okay, so um, let, let's change gear for now a little bit here. So, uh, Hotspot, you're going to hear um, and probably have already heard from other pastors, right, about what this year will be like. You know, for example, uh, the year of expansion, uh, the year of breakthroughs, and et cetera, and Believe it or not, you guys, how you position yourself, okay, 
this year will determine if it's the year of expansion, the year of breakthroughs. And in our case at the hotspot, it's the year of re, R-E. And throughout this year, you know, I mean, I already know, I already know we're going to be talking more about re and, um, and believe it or not, you guys, it's where you have to make that choice. You know, I know people say, well, yeah, I've heard this all before, but, but the bottom line is this, it's your choice of how this year will be like. And like I said, it's how you're going to position yourself. And so today, I want to say today, okay, I want to give you four re-words, if I can say like that, I'm just making up my own words right now, R-E words, re-words to start off this year, 2021. Okay, amen? Now, I know for, for some of you, you don't want to talk about 2020 anymore. And that's fine. You know, I totally understand. But some of you don't realize, even if you don't want to talk about 2020 anymore, and that if you're not careful, that you could be bringing 2020 into 2021. How was that, Andrew? Well, with your negative thoughts, your negative words, and your negative uh, attitude. If we don't change our outlook, and our attitude and our perception, 2021, guess, believe it or not, you guys, we will just, it will just be like another year. Or you can re-engage, re-imagine, re-ignite, and rejoice. You see, uh, success is predictable, everyone. The Bible talks about it. And failure is also predictable. And I'm going to say it again, it's your choice. You know, whether you want to have success or you want to stay in that failure mode. Um, I do believe, everyone, the more we, which is you and I, the more we um, understand the importance of the vision here at the Hotspot Church. In, in other words, the vision here is that we are connected, right, to God's word to see people live their best life. And if we are on the same page, Hotspot, when it comes to seeing people live their best life and helping them, with the God kind of life, I guarantee you that we will also see God's incredible grace and favor even more now in 2021. I also believe, you guys, we will experience God's unconditional love like never before, especially, especially during the valleys of your life. Now, some of you have been buried for so long in your valleys that you know what dirt tastes like that your resurrection in 2021 is going to be so evident, everyone. So many people that even to, uh, your testimonies will also be an encouragement to people. And not only that, we at the Hotspot Church want to see you live your best life. But guess what, everyone? God also wants to see you live your best life too. Amen? Amen, everyone? Because God is committed to your success. Come on, look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, say, this is, this is my year. Come on, tell them, this is my year. I don't know people say, I don't know what this year uh, entails. Well, guess what? Success is predictable and failure is predictable. And so um, I just want to encourage everyone. I want, you know, um, so go with me, go with me, Kate, to Micah chapter 6, verse 8. Micah chapter 6, verse 8. And then I'll give you again the four re-words, R-E, words, that we will talk about or highlight today. Okay, is that okay? So Micah chapter 6, verse 8, in the Message Bible says, but he, in other words, that's God, but he's already made it plain, right? How to live, what to do, and what God is what? Everyone, what's, what's the next word there? Looking for, or in other words, God, uh, the requirement or what God requires from us uh, or in men and women, here it is. It's quite simple. Can we read it to all together? The next uh, line right there. Do what is what? Fair and just to your neighbor. Okay, this is what he requires. It's simple. Do what is fair and just to what? Your neighbor. Be compassionate and loyal where? In your love. And don't take what? Yourself too seriously. Take God seriously, everyone. You with me? Now, for years, okay, Four years in the past, I don't know about you, but four years in the past when uh, I would see tornadoes happening in the South or like in the Midwest, they even, you know, they even have a thing called, uh, what do you call that? The Tornado Alley. And they, they would interview people that had their business destroyed or, or their homes demolished. They would ask them, you know, this question. So what are you going to do now? Right. And, and the majority of the answers I hear 
with tears coming down their eyes because of the devastation is this. This is their answer. We are going to rebuild, you know, and, and for many that I've watched and I've heard, you know, the response, you know, probably have said, you are crazy. What do you mean rebuild, right? Hotspot, as believers, your 2020 has been nothing short of disaster and devastation. It's been one thing and or, or another, right? But because you have an anchor called hope in the Lord, you might have some tears, you know, coming down your eyes and people, you know, probably have asked you that question. So what are you going to do in 2021? And you going and your answer should be like mine's. We're going to rebuild bigger and stronger. You know why? Because with God, all things are what possible. And even if people say to you, man, you crazy. What do you mean rebuild? Well, guess what, everyone? And that's my title for today. Okay, so, so take it, you know, if you're taking down notes, here's my title for today. How to rebuild. How to rebuild, everyone, when people call you crazy. How to rebuild when people tell you to give up on God. And to rebuild, Hotspot, we're going to, we're going to start with these four words, four, four re-words again. One, re-engage. Two, Reimagine. Three, reignite. While everyone, number four, rejoicing along the way. You with me, someone? So uh, go with me to Proverbs chapter 24, uh, verses 3 to 4. Proverbs chapter 24, verse 3 and 4. And my Bible says this by wisdom, right? A house is what? Built. And by understanding, right? It is established. Verse 4 says, by knowledge, Rooms are filled with all precious and pleasant wealth. Someone say rebuild. Okay. So how to rebuild when your mind tells you to give up on God. So let's talk about number one. Number one, re-engage. Okay. Re-engage. The definition of re-engage is to engage or to occupy or to get involved to engage or to occupy or like what Davino say, something you got to start getting involved. So to get involved, that's re-engage. If we're going to rebuild, we have to re-engage. Come on. Amen. Re-engage again, or I like this definition or to take part or participate again, or to participate again. All right. Or to participate again. We ain't going to be spectators in 2021. We're going to be participators. And so the question I want to ask everyone is this, what is it? What is it that you need to re-engage, to rebuild bigger and stronger in 2021? Now, maybe for some of you, I, and, and I need you to be honest with yourself, okay? Maybe the first thing you need to do is to re-engage with God again. Come on, to occupy yourself again with God. Come on, somebody, to get involved with God again. Come on, you know, you know he's been faithful to you. Amen, someone? Stop giving the devil more credit than he deserves. As a matter of fact, everyone, we are not battling against the devil anymore. Yeah, come on. Let me just say this again. We are not battling against the devil anymore because the devil has already been defeated. Jesus did it. Jesus paid the price. And here's something about the devil. When someone is down and out, they usually want to bring others down too, right? And that is what the devil is trying to do with you and I. The devil now is trying to get you and I to participate in his party, in his pity party. See, the devil will use deceptions and lies. Remember now, he has already been defeated, right? And he's going to use a deception to make you and I choose now. Remember I talked about choose, choose his way. Come on, your battle is not against the devil. Well, Andrew, what's my battle then? Your battle now is against your spirit and your flesh because it always clashes with each other every day you know in, in other words you want to serve God you want to do what's right see that's your spirit but your flesh wants to do totally opposite of what God is saying and it's your flesh okay it's your flesh where the devil will try his best to get his lies and his point across to you 
And yes, scripture says the battle is not yours, but the Lord's. Remember? Um, and the only reason, okay, if you can, if you think about this, the only reason, I just read the, uh, the Bible says that the battle is not yours, but the Lord's. And the only reason why it seems like God is not in the battle, it is because your flesh will tell you, you don't need God. It's you who started this business, right? It is you who got this house. It is you who got the car, not God. It's your sweat and tears who worked for the money. It's you, not God. And, and that is what your flesh will scream. Come on, someone, at you about, you know, watch this, uh, you know, all that you think you did. So, Andrew, what, what are you trying to say? How does the battle become the Lord's then? I'm glad you asked. Here's the answer. When you operate and apply God's word to a situation, the battle now becomes the Lord. When you operate with God's word, the joy of the Lord now becomes your strength. But when you want to do it without God, the battle now becomes yours. <laughs> when you think you don't need God, now you use your own strength. And that's tiring, man. It gets tiring. Amen. Now for some of us, Maybe you need to re-engage or get involved again with your ministry. You know, some of you need, man, I'm telling you, you maybe you need to start a life group. Maybe whatever you got to do. Maybe, and maybe that's why you're dry and you're stale is because you're not involved. And, and this year, I want you to re-engage with your ministry again. And, and some of you, watch this, you don't even realize that your gifts by itself, it's okay. But your gifts connected with God's kingdom and his purpose can help so much more, everyone. Come on, somebody. Uh, hallelujah, hallelujah, someone. And for some of you, let me just let me just say this now. For some of you, maybe you need to re-engage with your children. You know, you know. Um, some of you guys know this, but um, on December thirty first, my family we we write down you know what we want to see happen or um, what we need to do um, for the following year. And so one of the things that I wrote down to see happen in 2021 uh, for me was to spend more quality time with Kendo. Yeah, to spend more quality time with Kendo. Alex is married, so she spends time with her hubby, her hubby Manny. And Sarah, she's in Finland and she's grown already. <laughs> um, but Kendo is 10 years old and in four months, she gonna be 11. And, and next thing we know, she's graduating. So in order for me to re-engage with Kendall is to get involved more with things she enjoys and to help her through the things, watch this, she doesn't want to do, but have to do and to continue. And this is the other thing I want to re-engage with her and to continue to let her know more about Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Because right now there's no field trips. There's no parents helping out at the school is what Miley, Miley and I used to do for Alex and Sarah. And so that's what I'm going to do. Someone said re-engage. Amen. Maybe some, again, maybe you need to re-engage with God. Maybe you need to re-engage with your ministry. Maybe you need to re-engage with your children or whatever it is that God has put in your heart that what you need to re-engage so that you can rebuild. Amen. So um, let me ask you again, how to rebuild, right? When it's so much easier, how many of you guys can, can relate to this? How to rebuild when it's so much easier to give up. Amen. Which leads me to number two, which is reimagine. Reimagine. You know, one of the great things God has given us, Hotspot, and to everyone, is the gift to imagine. You know, things that are good or bad, it starts with imagining, right? And the definition of reimagine is this. Uh, the dictionary says it's to reinterpret or to rethink, rethink an event or possibilities, reimagine possibilities. Come on, think about that, how to rebuild. Maybe some of you need to reimagine the possibilities again for you and your family. You know, uh, the prodigal son in the Bible, when, when he was down to his lowest in the pig pen, reimagine that at my father's house, even the servants eat good. In Genesis chapter 15, God took Abraham outside to look up to the skies to what? 
to reimagine the possibilities of what God promised him. My question to you, Hotspot, is what has diminished your imagination? What areas that God needs to take you out from in order for you to reimagine the possibilities again? Amen, someone? And let me also say this. Is there anything too hard for God? <laughs> for me, this year, I am reimagining our church facilities paid in full. Yeah, and maybe some of you don't know, but our, our church building fund right now, it is, uh, that we have in our church building fund, it is $2,448,961.71. I'm reimagining our church facilities, the possibilities, again, paid in full. I'm reimagining, you know, our mortgage paid in full. I am, you know, I am also reimagining seeing people accepting Christ as the Lord and Savior through the hotspot church. You with me, somebody? Come on, amen. Some of you just got to start reimagining again, you know, the possibilities. Um, and hotspot, and those that have tuned in today, if you are going to rebuild, you have to reimagine again because God can do immeasurably far more than you and I can think or imagine according to his purpose. Hallelujah, someone. So you're going to have to, watch this again, re, what's the first word? I want to see if the people here are paying attention. <laughs> Re-engage, right? You have to, watch this, participate again. And then number two is what? Reimagine. Okay, something you got, something you got to start dreaming again. You know, the possibilities. You, you with me, someone? Now, how to rebuild? Which, which go, um, we'll talk about number three now. How to rebuild even when people around you have given up hope. You see it all on the news right now. Think still, still uh, places are still going crazy and there's it's chaos and so forth. But how to rebuild when even people around you have given up hope. And which number three is to reignite. Reignite. Now, the word ignite means to catch fire or cause to catch fire. So to reignite means to <laughs> cause to ignite again, to reignite. Look at your name and say reignite. How about what area needs to catch fire again in your life? Look, okay, let's, let's just pause real, 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 real quick on that one. What areas that I need to catch fire again? You know, have people see you, like when people see you today, do they still see the fire or have the fire gone out? You know, because fire tests for real gold. It, it, it separates gold from impurities. You, you with me? And for those that are married, maybe it's time to reignite the flame with your spouse. You know, for, for 2021, like I said, like for the, the past two, uh, I wrote down for me what I wanted to see in my marriage. And here's what I wrote. Um, I want to be a better husband to Miley. Even after 26 years, I still have to better myself. And I also said that our marriage to be better by, watch this, Kate, by me honoring and respecting Miley more. Uh, the way I speak, the way I, I do things. And so that's what I want to do I, so, so that I can continue to, watch this, have fire or catch the fire again in Jesus or even more fire. You with me, someone? So I don't know about you. Maybe it's your, you know, what you need to do is reignite the flames uh, again with your, with your spouse. Maybe for some of you, maybe you need to reignite the passion you once had, you know, you know, to help or, or, or be a blessing with, uh, you know, being blessed to someone or even maybe starting a business. Maybe you've lost that passion, but because of what happened, or, or maybe reignite the passion on reaching your goals again, whether it's short-term goals or long-term goals. You know, John Maxwell, you know, said in one of his lessons about, uh, about the question, what are, what are some of the, what are the odds? He, he, he said so many, you know, um, uh, so many of us, so many times we ask ourselves, this is what he said, what are the odds of me winning before I get in the game? And he said, that's the wrong question to ask. What are the odds of me winning before I get in the game? Because he said, you, you're not going to win every game. 
But if you stay in the game to reignite yourself, man, you can win. Hallelujah, someone. Now, which leads me to number four. Now, you might be nudging someone and say, am I hearing this? Is, are we already at the end of everything? You know, because again, uh, I just want you to hold on and for starters, to, to know what needs to be done so that 2021 will be your best year yet in Jesus' name, which leads me to number four, rejoice. Okay, now rejoice. The word rejoice means to be joyful, to take delight in unto the Lord. You need to rejoice in season and out of season. Apostle Paul said this, and you, you don't have to go there, but you can write this down. Philippians chapter three, uh, verse one, he said this, finally, my fellow believers, continue, it says continue to rejoice and delight in the Lord. And he, and he says to, uh, he wrote this, to write the same things again is no trouble for me. He said to write the same things again is no trouble for me. The reason why? It's a safeguard for you. Another translation says this, or to keep you on track. So the reason why he's writing it over and over again and reminding to rejoice, to reminding people is to keep you on track. And the reason why I want to say this today, as well as what Apostle Paul said, I'm going to remind you throughout the year. I'm going to keep reminding you because it's going to be a safeguard for you. It's going to keep you on track. When you want to quit, we're going to say, nah, redo. When you want, watch this, want to throw in the towel, we say, nah, re-engage. Okay, because this is the year of re. You with me, someone? And, and I've seen people, y'all, I've seen people that as soon as they start rejoicing, how many of you kids can relate to this? Um, I've seen people, as soon as they start rejoicing because of what God did for them, that during the rejoicing, they are already thinking about problems that come. Hotspot, if you and I only focus on the problems in our situations in 2021, we, we will miss out on God's leading, leading us to being a blessing to others, leading us to bigger and better things while rejoicing through the little things too. Amen? It's hard to rejoice. It's hard to rejoice, everyone. It is hard to rejoice if all we focus on is the problems and also focusing on what we don't have instead of focusing on what we do have. Hotspot, you have a lot to rejoice about. Come on, someone. I, I know 2020 has been tough, but you still have a lot to rejoice about. The Bible says this is the day that the Lord has made, and we should what? Rejoice. Come on, rejoice and be glad in it. You with me? So I'm coming to a close, everyone. I'm coming to a close because I really want to make sure that you get this. Right, so number one is to what? Re in. I can't hear y'all, man. Come on, you gotta speak louder in, in the. <laughs> re engage, right? What's number two? Re imagine, right? Re imagine again. Start thinking again for the possibilities that what God can do, can do. And then what's number three? To reignite. Some of you need to reignite. Some of you need to go back on, on date nights. Why, well, Andrew, we can't go out. Man. Listen, just make it happen. You know, you just go out to your drive, you know, your driveway, jump in the car, turn on the radio and say, and then just reimagine we're driving. Come on, whatever you have to do to 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 reignite the flame again with your spouse or or whatever it is, your passion or, or reaching your goals. And then number four, just rejoice along the way. Amen. Rejoice along the way because it's going to keep you on track. It's going to. And so in closing, I want to recap. I wanna, and I'm closing right here. Micah chapter 6, verse 8. Remember, we read it in the beginning. Micah chapter 6, verse 8. But he, God, already made it plain, right? Already what? He made it plain how to live, right? What to do. What God is looking for in men and in what? Women. It's quite simple. Hotspot, do what is fair and just to your neighbor. Be compassionate and loyal in your love. And don't take yourself too seriously. Take what? Take God seriously. Hotspot Church, you as a believer, that whatever area you need to re-engage, re-imagine, reignite. For example, 
if it's about your finance, if you apply his word, the battle now becomes what? The Lord's. And if you check the record, God has never lost a battle, y'all. He will bring people to you to help you better understand about what your goals are in your financial area. If it's starting a business or getting out of debt, I believe God will send favor to you and to help you if you apply his word. Reimagine the, possi the possibilities, everyone. If it's about your marriage or bettering your relationship with your children, if you re-engage with God's word and reignite the flame, you will see the good in your marriage again. You will see and rejoice that God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. So for starters, to help rebuild and to rejoice throughout this year is to re-engage, re-imagine, reignite in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Well, that's our lesson for today. You know, uh, I pray that this week, you know, that you will write those four words down. You know, if, if I'm going to, you know, move forward, if I want to get some forward progress in my life or to rebuild, that's what I'm going to need to do in Jesus name. Amen. Amen, everyone. Hope, hopefully you receive that message. And, um, and as we break bread today, before we break bread, I just want to send this invitation to uh, anyone. If you're watching and you've not accepted Christ as your Lord and Savior, man, let this year be the year to let the devil know who you belong to and to let the world know who you belong to because Christ died for you and I. He paid the price so that you and I can have life and have life more abundantly. You know, he loved you. He loved you. Watch this. Even before you were born, he, he continues to love you even when you messed up. And if you mess up tomorrow, guess what? His uncond unconditional love, the agape love, will continue to be poured upon you. And so if you want Christ in your life, if you want a relationship with Christ, can you repeat this prayer after me and say, Jesus, I'm a sinner and I can't save myself, but I thank you for saving me. Thank you for washing all of my sins away. Jesus, be the Lord of my life. Jesus, be the Savior of my life. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Man, y'all got to give a cup out for that. Man, if you said that for the first time, man, do you know that heaven is yours, eternal life is yours, and you are saved? Now, it's so important now. Just like what this, this is the year of re. You need to now renew your mind by getting to the word. So I encourage you. And uh, the good thing about now is we, we, if, you, uh, if you're even living afar, uh, join our, our, um, our one of our life groups. You know, get into it. Um, and if, if, if you want to, we can send you information of what, you know, you can start building your, your, uh, your relationship with Christ. And one thing I want to encourage you is maybe you can start off with Proverbs. You know, read, read Proverbs chapter 1, you know, just one chapter a day. And, and just start getting some wisdom into you and knowing what Christ has done for you also. Okay? And so congratulations. Um, heaven is yours. And I can just imagine what the angels are doing right now to celebrate it because you said, yes, Lord. Amen? Amen, amen. Well, um, we're going we're gonna to break bread, and then um, I'm just going to pray. And I know this might be kind of crazy for, for many people, but um, when, when it comes to with the anointing, I'm going to pray. And if you can, if maybe if you're watching on your television or maybe on your cell phone, but if you're watching through your, your television, I'm going to ask you, you know, if you can just put your hands on that TV. Um, and we're going to pray for the anointing uh, for 2021, that no weapon formed against you is going to prosper. You with me? And that uh, this anointing will be yoke destroying, burdens removed in, in Jesus' name. Amen. And so the Bible said that he took the bread 
and he gave thanks. Now, if you saw uh, the lesson that I taught on Good Friday about communion, I pray that not only as we break bread right now, but you will um, also remember him, you know, throughout the day when you're opening up a water bottle or, um, you know, a bag of chips or even a candy bar. Come on, man, that's too much. No, I don't think it's too much. I think it's remembering what Christ has done. And when you remember what Christ has done, I think you become more grateful, you know, more thankful of what God has done for you, you know, and uh, it will keep you on track to continue to rejoice. You know, uh, Miley and I, were, this past week, when we were going to Costco, this is the farthest we ever parked, you know, at Costco in Covington. I'm, I'm serious, the farthest. Like, we can take a shuttle going to, you know, to the front door. But you know what? When we parked the car, this is what Miley said. Thank you, Jesus. And, and so, uh, after she said, thank you, Jesus, she said, I guess God wants us to do some exercise. And I didn't complain. I just said, yep. And so we got the, out the car. We walked to, uh, you know, to Costco, came back, and continued to give God thanks. So whatever it is, as we break bread, this is the first Sunday of 2021. If you could just remember and be thankful, God has been good to us. Come on. Yeah, he's been good to us. He even has a plan for believers after death. And I know we've lost some people, but God is still faithful. God still reigns. God still cares and God still loves us. And so if, you, if you're thankful, if you can just remember, say, Lord, thank you for your son. And then as you partake, whatever you have, then I declare prosperity over you. I declare God's Watch this favor upon you. I declare God's goodness will be so, man, it will be so evident that you can see it wherever you go, that you're going to be blessed going in and blessed coming out in Jesus' name. If you can, if your family's right next to you, just grab them by the hand and say, man, this house, tell them, just, you make that declaration. Says, As for me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord in 2021. We're going to re-engage. We're going to come up, right? We're going to reimagine. We're going to reignite. And we're going to continue to rejoice throughout this year. In Jesus' name, you may partake. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible says he took the cup and he gave thanks. And he says, this is my new covenant that you love one another. And so I continue to declare that here at the hotspot, when you come to the hotspot, that you will feel the love of God, that you will experience the love of God through our lives. And that it's not a fake thing, it's an authentic thing. And so as we declare, Father, we want to say thank you for washing all of our sins of yesterday, our sins of today, and our sins of tomorrow. Thank you, Lord. As we partake, we remember what you did. Amen and amen. You may partake. Thank you, Jesus. Can we just give God a praise and thank you right now? It's like what Davina mentioned earlier today in our announcements about giving God like a 30-second worship and praise. Can we do that again to, right now? And just thank you. Just thank you. You made it this far. You've gone through 2020. You thought you would never make it through. But guess what? You're in 2021 now. Amen. So can you just give God praise and glory? So Father, I thank you now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. Come on. Thank you, Jesus. Let this year that you choose, okay, to be the best year. Let's make it the best year. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. And as we pray for God's anointing upon your life, maybe 
What we need to do too is have someone hold you accountable this year. You know, choose someone. If you're married, have your spouse hold you accountable of the things that you want to uh, see come to pass in your marriage or in your family. If you're single, you know, have find that that person to hold you accountable. Says, man, you know, can you keep me on track here? Because I want to make sure that God gets the glory through my life. Hallelujah. And so uh, I pray now, if you can, if you can come by your television. I know it's going to be a little bit crazy, but you know what? You know, uh, we're going to do whatever it takes to let God shine in our lives. And so uh, I'm asking you now, as, as believers, and even if you're not part of the Hotspot Church, but you're our, our online campus, you want to join our online campus, that's amen. I'm going to ask you, to, you can stretch your hands forward or you can uh, go to your, your, your television or even your phone right now and come in agreement with me. Father, as I pray, Lord, and I thank you for your anointing upon our lives, that this year, 2021, those that are watching, Father Lord, it's not me, Father Lord, but it's you and the oil that symbolizes that it removes burdens and it destroys the yoke that, Lord, you've anointed us, Lord, to not only preach this gospel, but to show this gospel through our lives. So, Father, as I stretch my hands forward to this Internet and online, I pray right now, Lord, that you release your anointing upon our families upon our marriages, upon our homes, our marriages, I mean, uh, our businesses. I thank you, Father. I thank you that 2021, and I'm declaring it, will be our best year yet. We love you, Father. And I know you're committed to our success. We honor you. We thank you now. In Jesus' name. If you believe this and I receive it, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, amen and amen. Whew. Again, if you want, you know, just if you can, type in there in, on their home and um, we're going to make sure we send this out to you. We'll, we'll get your, you know, we don't want you to put your, your home address there unless you want to. <laughs> I don't know, but you can put it in or DM um, our uh, church's Facebook page and we'll send this out to you uh, and again you can use it throughout the year you know to anoint you know your your household anoint your like I said your uh, your business your marriage uh, you know your finance your health whatever it is and declaring that it it'll separate you amen separate you from what Andrew from the good and bad and so forth. But we love you. Thank you for tuning in our first uh, Sunday here. And I just know and believe and reimagining us going into our own facility in Jesus' name. Can't wait to see y'all. Can't wait to fellowship with you guys. We apply the blood that no more COVID in Jesus' name, that we can come together again as one. Amen? So God bless you on behalf of myself and Miley and uh, our team here. Thank you again for making it happen. You know, Pastor Daff and Davina, uh, we just want to say we love you. God bless you. Go with God, and I know God will go with you. Amen? And that every day our ministry is growing, spiritual-wise, member-wise, prosperity in all areas of our lives, wisdom and understanding wave in our years, favor with you and with man, healing, deliverance, restoration, super debt cancellation, compassion, highly favored on top and rising. In Jesus' name. And everyone say amen and amen. God bless. I'll see you again. Amen.